Okay, so we got our center cut pork chops here. As you can see, I've seasoned them. I used a little garlic powder, salt and pepper, you know, three of the four seasons, or as I call it, the holy grail. And you're gonna do it on both sides, and you're gonna bring your pork chops to room temperature. That way they cook nice and evenly, about 15, 20 minutes out of the fridge. Do you call it the four seasons or the holy grail? Do it again. <laughs> then we are going to take our pan and we're gonna lightly coat it with a little bit of olive oil. Not too much, you don't want it too greasy. Just enough to brown up your pork chops. All right, so now we're gonna put in our pork chops. That beautiful sizzle, huh? 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 Nice. Get them all up in there, spread them out a little bit. Get yourself a nice big pan. We're gonna put them all in there. Don't crowd them too much. Get them. And maybe about two minutes on each side, get them browned up. You can also do this on the grill. I didn't want to go outside tonight, so this is where the action's happening, all right? Like what makes a pork chop? Pig. <laughs> so it's just like a, a pork chop. So now, after a couple of minutes, you're gonna wanna turn your pork chops. You see, you're getting a little bit of that brown crust right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same on this side, and they're not gonna cook all the way through, because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take them out, place them on a plate, and then we're gonna make our vinegar peppers with a little bit of white wine and butter. A little late, it is a little slow. Sorry, I'm looking at three cameras in the sound. It's the same. It's got a bad attitude. Got a bad attitude. Three cameras, big deal. He suntanned all day today. Now he's complaining about working three cameras that aren't worth $85. So as you can see, we're getting a nice little golden brown on that. And then we're gonna take them out in about eh, one to two minutes. This is gonna be a fantastic. This is gonna be something you make once so weak. Is it weird that it looks like salmon to me? Yes. No. All right, time to take these out. Got them browned up on both sides. Look at that, hey? So we got the fat from the pork chops and a little bit of olive oil. And now you're gonna throw in two to three cloves of garlic or uh, I stopped counting after seven. So you do whatever you want. This is my preference. Now that you get your garlic in there, you're gonna brown them up. Don't get them too dark, because once it burns, it becomes bitter, like me, every single day of the week, just bitter. Just making these meals for people who don't appreciate them. All right, the garlic is uh, browned up enough here. Now we're gonna take our peppers, like I said, and we're just gonna throw it right in there. Keep it on low heat. Mix that around. Oh, <laughs> Ben! Ben's never had pork chops. I mean, I don't know where he's... He might be orthodox. I, I have no idea why he doesn't eat this. I like to season it up a little bit too. Even though it's got a lot of flavor, we put the fresh garlic in there. I do a little sprinkle of garlic powder. Pinch of salt, not too much, because it's got it in there. And we gotta do a little crushed red pepper. Let's give this thing a little kick, eh? And then a little sprinkle of just some ground black pepper. You'll see it's gonna start to dry out a little bit here. Let's just add a little bit of the juice from the peppers. Oh yeah, and let it continue to cook down. You want the peppers nice and tender. They're still good if they're not as cooked down, but I kind of like it cooked down, nice and hot. Everything absorbs right into the pork chop. Ben, sometimes it's time for you to shut up. <laughs> You're ruining the cooking video. I know you film them. I know you edit them. But my God, you're gonna get it, huh? How's the tan? How's the tan? Ben, it's good. how's the tan? Almost as nice as the bag of you. I need a little, I need a little anti-shine. I need a little anti-shine on the forehead. Yeah, can we get hair and makeup? Sweating. Oh, is that also me? We I'm also hair and makeup. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unless you got a third hand, we, yeah. we, we're, <laughs> we're lost here. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of rosemary because I love the flavor. You know, a little cousin rosemary. Dropping by, add a little spice. All right, get that all in there. And then 
I had a quarter cup of a little Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, I use Woodbridge, it's $6. You know what, you can't taste it in the cookie, so don't buy no expensive wine. A little quarter cup, there you have it, and let it continue to cook down. And now, we haven't used it in quite some time, our favorite ingredient, butter! A little quarter like that, you see that? A little quarter, a little, eh, you know, throw it right in there and get that all up incorporated. Gives a nice little balance, in my opinion, to the wine and the acidity. You don't need a lot, just a little. Gives it a little bit of creaminess, I love that. Yeah, I'm using a butter knife. I use any utensil I can get my hands on whenever it's around, all right? Give me no attitude. It's time for pork chops to go back in. Do it. Pork chops going back in, here we go. I didn't cook them all the way through because I didn't want to overcook them before because they're gonna continue to cook in this beautiful array of cherry peppers, banana peppers, a little rosemary, a little white wine, garlic, and butter. Always. He's on cue now. Plate up time. There you have it. 